Hey man, so I'm a young adult right now. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find my ways, purpose of my life, what's the meaning of life, why am I here, what am I doing in this exact moment, even talking to you right now. Mm -hmm. I feel like there is a bigger purpose back of my head, which mm -hmm. I haven't discovered. Right. And in the process, process of discovering it, I have tried religious method from educated people that we have within our society. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I go to them, I speak to them, you know, I ask them, questions that I'm not satisfied with that, that I have never got answered. So, you know, talking to them, I asked them the caste system, right? right. Caste system. Even right now in 2022, I witnessed lower caste are still being treated like shit. Mm -hmm. Every day, not only in Nepal, India, other countries, even in America. Mm -hmm. Higher caste, the funding from the Monday, they're treating them with high, highest gratitude. Mm -hmm. But the lower lower caste, they cannot even be in that five minute for five hour radius. Mm -hmm. So even the wedding, a higher caste can maybe a higher caste, and every everybody is okay with it. Even the society, religious practice believers, everybody is okay with it. They 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 act like they're not okay with it, but I can come to a conclusion that is acceptable. Right. But in the same sense, lower class people they fall in love, emotion has nothing to do with higher class, lower class, poor, rich, billionaire, millionaire, it has nothing to do with trillionaire. Emotion is the same, right? right. Every Everyone has emotions, right. right? Right. So with that being said, when they fall in love and they want to get together and live their life together for the rest of their life, those two people who have fallen in love, they're okay with it. Mm -hmm. But I see that the whole society force is coming against them and they're against them. And they're not gonna allow that no matter what. It's like either kill me then get married type of scenario. Right. Why is that? So basically, there is no such thing as a caste system in Hinduism. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is a class system: mm -hmm. uh, upper class, lower class, middle class. Uh, but people have turned this into a pathetic way of dominating uh, another individual. Mm -hmm. So this used to work in the past like when you have a lot of people and you want to control the society mm -hmm. if someone comes out as a criminal or a bad habits or something like that they try to avoid them from the uh, community mm -hmm. and they want to take tell them to go live somewhere else mm -hmm. and then do not come back to the society we're not gonna eat together anymore, mm. we're not going to be using your stuff, we're not going to let you use our stuff, mm. things like that. And this became a train, mm. and then later on, oh, okay, this is where he belongs. Mm. And those people, those those people who are sent out from the community, mm. uh, those people are hated, and then they are treated as, okay, these are the people that we should not touch, these are the people we should not talk. Okay. And that's how it was started. This was actually a phenomenal rule that it was created by those generations. Okay. Now we are in the newer generations. It now it doesn't work that way. None of the scriptures suggest any caste system. Okay. Uh, nothing else uh, other than the classes. Um, but every class uh -huh. has their right uh -huh. to obtain the certification. Uh, we have enough history, so we okay. do not want to create this history back, just like a Mahabharata mm -hmm. war, everything happened. A character there, a Karna, was hated by the community, by superior people a mm -hmm. lot. Even though he had a good qualities, they were not allowing him to go to school and you know study mm -hmm. and take that knowledge. So we have enough history. Mm -hmm. This will only create a distance between yeah. your friend and you. Do not understand. follow them. Do not follow them, do not listen to them. If the religious masters are doing this, they are wrong. They're still going by 10 or 20,000 years old um, rule mm -hmm. that was created for that generation. Mm -hmm. The generation has changed. It's just like, you know, if you have 1999 car and if you have 2022 model car, mm -hmm. the same car, you cannot add that old car engine to run this car. Everything has upgraded. Mm -hmm. Humanity has evolved in such a way we do not want this mm -hmm. to constrict us and make us uh, a pathetic mm -hmm. believers in comparison with any other mm -hmm. uh, religions out there. We as a new generation should 
be encouraged. Mm -hmm. We're, we shouldn't be, like you said, you're discouraged about what, what has happened. You have gone to religious masters, you are getting one thing, and uh, their act is different, mm -hmm. but what the way they say it is different. Mm -hmm. They acknowledge the fact, mm -hmm. but when they come out in action, mm -hmm. They are still doing the same action, mm -hmm. so it's not taking them anywhere else. But if you have a daughter, I spent five minutes with her, mm -hmm. and she's two, three year old. Right. And I realized that within that five minutes, even she knows what's right and what's wrong, and what's the right step to take, what's the wrong step to take. She's aware right. of those senses. Right. Even two, three year old is aware of what's right and wrong, and they take a stand. Mm -hmm. Why are these pathetic religion believers? They are aware that whatever is happening, whatever they're encountering within this earth, within the place they're living, it's wrongdoing, but they're just showing their behind and just it's, ignoring it. It's all ego. They want to preserve their self-esteem and they want to be in their comfort zone. If they come out of this comfort zone, the society, the fan following people will go against them mm -hmm. and they want to preserve this prestige. That's why they have been doing this wrong thing again and again and again. Even though mm -hmm. they know that's not right, they keep doing it. Mm -hmm. So like you said, even three, four years old, baby is aware of what is right and what is wrong. Mm -hmm. And sometimes these religious people live their entire hundred years mm -hmm. and then they wouldn't get realized mm -hmm. saying, oh, at the end of the life, when they're in their deathbed, that's the time flashback happens. Okay. Why you would want to wait 100 years in your deathbed mm -hmm. to get realized instead of now living in the moment mm -hmm. and then be the way you are. Mm -hmm. See, these people are so driven by uh, religious fact. That's why I would urge them mm -hmm. to find globally accepted way of self-realization self-awareness and become aware of our surroundings okay. okay and like one thing that never made sense to me is that we have pets as cats and dog in this country mm -hmm. right we've been living here for 10 15 years and mm -hmm. we have a special connection with them because they're 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 living with us right animal have emotion that's where today say because dog are cats and they're they fall in the animal category right, right. that's right to say right so in that same sense i realized that big festivals in our hinduism culture comes Celebration happens. We, I, I think last last year I encountered where there were five hundred goats that 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 was sacrificed in name of religion and in name of God. See, that's that's the pathetic way to you know judge uh, animals and creatures. Mm -hmm. Very illiterate way. If you are praying to cow, mm -hmm. how is goat different than a cow? Right. It's cow produces milk. Mm -hmm. It helps nurturing your baby in case your mother cannot breastfeed a baby. We have enough scientific research that goat milk is way nutritious than cow milk, mm -hmm. right? So goat also produces the milk. Okay, that's fine. Now the argument comes. Okay, cow is a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. You know, cow doesn't eat any other things. Goat doesn't eat any other things too. Uh -huh. Goat is also a vegetarian. What's the difference? Mm -hmm. Similarly, in Western culture, uh, dog is their pet. Mm -hmm. At, in other cultures, those people are eating dogs. Mm -hmm. You know, just like that. The Hinduism should never be offended for killing cows by mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. If you, as a Hinduism, aren't well educated enough to know and feel the pain and suffering of another creature and you are killing other animals mm -hmm. just preserving your one cow that's an uneducated mm -hmm. way to approach that's that's not a literacy that's mm -hmm. a lack of knowledge so basically it all comes down to ethical mm -hmm. and unethical which is ethical to do which is unethical to do mm -hmm. human beings are well educated they have intellect uh, but the one silly mistake that they have been doing in their entire life mm -hmm. is not trying to understand the pain and suffering that animal feels. Mm -hmm. And you know, even we have enough scientific research that you know we have a lot of animal extinct. Mm -hmm. So eventually there will be extinction. Something within us is always there. 
if you have a love and affection to the cow, mm -hmm. if you cannot generate the same love and affection to other animals, then you are not a human being, mm -hmm. basically, right? Because you are dividing the animals. Mm -hmm. Forget about dividing human beings through religious means. Mm -hmm. You are see something within you is already trying to know that the animal have feelings, mm -hmm. but you're only doing that to your preserved animal, you mm -hmm. know, to your own animal. Why can't you just accept everything the way it is mm -hmm. and you know try to be aware of the surrounding? Mm -hmm. If you can't meditate, if you can't do yogas and things like that, a simple self-awareness can help you to take one step closer. So that's the that's the good way to approach. Anyone cannot tell you that they're mm -hmm. they're in pain, but their tears do tell you, mm -hmm. right? If your baby cries, <clears throat> let's say if your baby just you know tears them mm -hmm. without even making any sound. Mm -hmm. You feel that compassion, right? Mm -hmm. You see that animal tearing down, you don't have the same compassion. Nothing. It's like not because right. you're attached, mm -hmm. right? And when it comes to like, so let's say your loved one dies. Mm -hmm. After three hours, some miracle happened. And if that loved one wakes up, instantly, instantly you think that's a ghost. Mm -hmm. And then you start throwing stones and you start mm -hmm. killing them. See, your attachment to Physical is that that you can't even take your loved one who you used to love mm -hmm. and you know share your life if after three hours. That so that's how out. much we are affected by this the society thought process that we've been living in for generation and generation. One that is not the truth behind it. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. See, the religious teachers are sharing one type of knowledge but they do not act on it. They do not urge the followers to act on it. The newer generation needs a scientific facts mm -hmm. to prove it. Our religious teachers are not scientifically educated, mm -hmm. so they aren't able to satisfy their curiosities. Mm -hmm. You have been curious for, for quite some time now, and you have been trying to get out of this comfort zone because you have been told one thing mm -hmm. by one religious teacher, another thing by another religious mm -hmm. teacher. Similarly, in the same Hinduism, one religious teacher fighting with another religious teacher. Mm -hmm. One denomination is fighting with another denomination. So there's a quarrel between them. Okay. See, they they cannot come out of this, okay. you know, unless, okay, I need to break this. I want to leave the way it is. And then, you know, even if I die, and if there is a God out there mm -hmm. counting my sins or anything like that, I want to be confidently tell God saying, Okay, God, I did not leave the way the community perceived, you know, community chose me to. I choose my own way because I was unsatisfied because of the cruelty that the community religious teachers are producing to the mass followers. Mm -hmm. That being said, so I, I've been coming across and I've been witnessing myself that not to target a specific group, but I have many friends within the Muslim community and I see you slitting their throat by a knife and you're not like killing it to make it a quick death. They're suffering that poor animal to their to his last drop of blood. So if I were to give it an option to a human being, how would you want to die? Get shot in the head or you want to get slit by your throat and get every blood uh, dripped down and you're going to die like that? Which one would that human being pick? See, thousands of years they have been doing this, and now it's time to come out of this. That's that's a cruel way to kill an animal. Now, I mean, you know, I am against animal exploitation anyway. Mm -hmm. So basically, emotion is a driven factor. Mm -hmm. So emotion means not just sitting in the corner and weeping uh, tears or mm -hmm. anything like that. Emotion is the base character. Emotion is a play of hormone in mm -hmm. human physiological body so the hormone called dopamine mm -hmm. that's a feel-good hormone what what it happens like in the past they have been doing without knowing what's the pain and suffering that mm -hmm. animal can feel now the generations have changed a little bit mm -hmm. so what I'm saying is the feel-good hormone mm -hmm. 
When you do something else, when if you're crave and then you have a delicious food in front of you, mm -hmm. you automatically feel you feel the sensation mm -hmm. like, okay, oh my God, this is delicious food. That's a feel good hormone. Um, that dopamine is playing a role. So when they slaughter the animal, the dopamine gland actually makes them feel good. It's mm -hmm. just a play of hormone. They haven't mastered that mm -hmm. yet. They, if they would have known that mm -hmm. this is the hormone ruling me, if something within you is the master mm -hmm. that a God or creator has created, mm -hmm. then that master is against that hormone. Mm -hmm. That master is the master. This hormone is not the master, mm -hmm. right? So that, that hormone intrigued them to feel good. Okay, this is the way that it should be killed, mm -hmm. you know? Now they have to master that hormone, emotions. Mm -hmm. Humans should be able to uh, feel the pain and suffering that animal feels. Mm -hmm. If your God created you, mm -hmm. your God also created the creatures. Mm -hmm. How would your God feel if one creature is killing another creature? Mm -hmm. Even knowing the fact that I created that creature, mm -hmm. There is still slaughtering them. There is still putting them in pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. So your God will never be happy. I would urge the young generation to not to do this mistake. Mm -hmm. You know, I respect how they pray five times a day, which rarely any other religion does. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, don't do that. I mean, be you know yourself. Mm -hmm. Come out of those kind of uh, pathetic thoughts and tell yourself. That right. So is it the good thing that I'm doing? Mm -hmm. Is if I'm created by Allah, mm -hmm. that's also created by mm -hmm. it. It didn't just form like mm -hmm. that, you know. It it had the creation has a part in it. Right. So I shouldn't do that. This is the thought. This process has to be mastered. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to conquer these emotional changes in their body instead of just satisfying their emotions. Mm -hmm. They should come out of that emotion and be themselves from mm -hmm. within. Okay. You know? So right, man. So in my lifetime, I've been experiencing all these issues, and I'm trying to find a purpose in my life and go the correct route and trying to know why am I here? Because I feel like just like animals have a purpose and they, they do their thing, I'm also in the same scenario. And I've been trying to do research and trying to find out and be educated myself and find the purpose of myself, but I'm. I'm going to the society leaders and getting information. One person is saying something else, another person is saying something else. Caste system is still a thing. People are still getting treated like shit based on their caste system. Animal slaughtering is still a thing. They treat them like shit. They act like animals don't have emotions. So what do I do now, man? I just I just want to find a purpose see, in my life. See, What's the route I can that's, take? That's the entanglement a religion creates, mm -hmm. okay? So when that entanglement happens, you have all these chemicals and all these neurotransmitter, all these physiological going within you. So something within you has awakened mm -hmm. because if a human being has an awakened inner nature, mm -hmm. then that's the feeling that it comes mm -hmm. because nothing satisfies you. Mm -hmm. Now you want to take the different route, come out of all these comforts that they have created. What's that route? I did it the hard way, you know, in a meditative route. You don't need, you know, great places to meditate. Uh, right now I'm sitting here, I'm talking, but at the same time, I, I'm becoming aware of myself. The moment I say I is even wrong, mm -hmm. you know, I'm referring I as a being for my within, for my inner self. So basically, you know, I took that route. Meditation means making your body aligned. Uh -huh. uh, when your body is fully aligned, then you become receptive to nature. Uh -huh. And uh, Michio Kaku's string theory suggests that everything is the vibration of the string. Uh -huh. Your body is automatically connected to the nature's phenomena. Uh -huh. So basically, meditation will make you aware, at least, if you keep yourself uh -huh. away from your thoughts then you will feel the difference uh, once you feel the difference something from within starts telling you okay you know i want to keep trying i want to mm -hmm. keep trying and then once you go that route 
everything becomes like when you look at just a tree outside, you look at it differently. Mm -hmm. And you start feeling like, even if you look at anything else, any other animals, mm -hmm. you see like, oh, they're an animal. They mm -hmm. have the uh, emotions, you know? mm -hmm. they have the memories and all, all that. Their body functions, you know, mm -hmm. the similar way that ours, mm -hmm. maybe a little differently. But see, animals like, you know, have a lot of genes similar to us. Even just a banana also have 75% of genes similar to us. Mm -hmm. And out of these, you know, two trillion galaxies, our own universe, more than 700 and something billion stars, out of those stars, there are billions and billions of uh, planets. Uh, we are just a speck of dust. Mm -hmm. And if we become aware of we are nothing, mm -hmm. But at the same time, we're something mm -hmm. within the universe. So if this kind of thoughts emerges within you and you become aware of all this, then you will be intrigued to keep meditating all the time. Okay. And then once you meditate, you are just aligning your energies. Okay. And once you align your energy, you know the conservation of energy theory. Basically, you are a small part of the cosmic consciousness you're connected to the cosmic consciousness it's just that moment that you're gonna wait after that after your medication mm -hmm. it's just that one moment that you're gonna wait and then the cosmic consciousness the fully nature will reveal it to you okay you know, it's sometimes like you know it's difficult to explain meditation so to i people. think so i think so all the thing that I think is experiencing, it's within me. But to to get a satisfaction, I'm traveling outward and getting all the information from the outward when I should be seeking within myself to get the full satisfaction. Absolutely, you becoming aware. See, right now you are aware that I am here. Mm -hmm. You are aware that I'm speaking from mm -hmm. here. That's not you. Mm -hmm. You are just a physical body. Mm -hmm. The all the chemical plays role. It it takes you to the brain. Mm -hmm. You know, neuron chemical, you know, electricity firing happens, all these neurotransmitters, mm -hmm. the data is there. Then your brain, you know, interprets to you mm -hmm. and something within you, the consciousness itself, is listening right now. Right. You know? So if we know that is the fact then the consciousness is connected to uh -huh. the cosmic consciousness through the strings of vibration. Uh -huh. So once you become this body, once you make and become the fully receptive individual, receptive comes from different, different ways. There are a variety of rules. It's not gonna happen instantly. Mm -hmm. Meditation is just not like sitting and closing your eyes. Mm -hmm. You are becoming aware. Mm -hmm. Like, um, for an example, if you are sitting in a 20-story building mm -hmm. and a plane passed by you, mm -hmm. sitting at that balcony, you will say, oh, what a beautiful weather. Mm -hmm. What a nice view beautiful. of that plane. But at the same time, those people who are sitting inside that plane are congested. You know, mm -hmm. they wanted to get out of that plane, land. So that means you were sitting in their balcony, mm -hmm. your thoughts were distanced mm -hmm. from the plane, and you are the observer, mm -hmm. right? When you observe things, see how satisfaction it was? Mm -hmm. it was? Similarly, when you meditate, you want to create a distance between your mm -hmm. you and your thought, and you from within should become an observer, mm -hmm. right? That way, you will start observing things in a different perspective. Your perception changes, there is no prejudice, nothing else. Then you will start knowing yourself, mm -hmm. your purpose. If, if this route doesn't work, there are many other yoga routes and mm -hmm. things like that. So people do that. But if you want to hit that target sooner, you start mm -hmm. aligning your body. Alignment starts from food, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, we talked about the you know all those other things but food is the utmost thing mm -hmm. that people need to understand mm -hmm. the food is the source of energy mm -hmm. for us 
So the food has a tremendous impact for our body. Mm -hmm. So the food has to be perfect. It should not contain anything mm -hmm. that's chemically rich. So basically from food to drink, yogic exercise, the Eastern exercise, uh, alignment, basically mm -hmm. you're trying to align from muscles, fibers, everything else, brain, like, like you know, from neurons, from uh -huh. subatomic particles that, that's going within your body, right? Mm -hmm. So once that alignment happens while you're meditating, then we talked about it, distancing thought starts to happen because you are the observer now. So when you observe things, you become aware of it. When you become aware of it, now the curiosity rises. Now when the curiosity rises, the nature will understand mm -hmm. and that you are now in tune. Okay. Now it's the time to reveal the fact. Mm -hmm. Now if we ex try to explain this to a person who have no understanding of how meditation works, then it will be just a another uh, fake news mm -hmm. or fake story type mm -hmm. of thing. Right. But unless that person specializes himself or herself and then experience, try to experience. Uh -huh. Like you did the skydiving, right? Mm -hmm. You try to break that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So before skydiving, you have all this emotional type of thing. Mm -hmm. You have all this emotional anticipation that you had uh, for three months. It was just a drop, mm -hmm. it happened. See, now you can explain how the skydiving was in just three, three sentences. Mm -hmm. It was, see, all this stress, anticipation that, you know, you have been going through, it was nothing. Mm -hmm. So just like that, unless you experience it, mm -hmm. you would well, know. I would never know that. Yeah, you would never know. If you have a back pain, mm -hmm. if you try to explain the same back pain, everybody has, or ankle pain, to another individual, then the another individual wouldn't know mm -hmm. unless the individual suffers from the bad pain mm -hmm. too. Okay. That's why people say, oh, I feel you, you know, I, I, I try to put myself into your shoes. No, mm -hmm. it's just the same, mm -hmm. it's just the comfort. Mm -hmm. It's the emotional comfort. Mm -hmm. Those type of emotional comfort has to be break mm -hmm. down and then you can do that by witnessing yourself mm -hmm. as this, is not me, mm -hmm. this is a consciousness, and everything is in consciousness, and consciousness is connected, mm -hmm. directly connected through the vibration of strings that we talked about, and then it's becoming self-aware, mm -hmm. becoming self-aligned, that way nature can reveal you okay. the facts. So one thing I want to share with my viewers is that while you are living your life, live with respect. When you die, die with dignity. And in the moment you, are, you have been alive and you've been in this time frame, don't cause any harm to any other living thing or anything else. That's, I would say that's the correct way of living. And also, all of, all of the pathetic uh, believers we have out there right now, that being said, we also have respected, well-educated uh, believers who are doing it the correct way, my hats off to them. But all the pathetic believers who are doing it the... So just like that example you gave me, the 1998 car. It's a 1998 Toyota Corolla, for example. Mm -hmm. 2022 Toyota Corolla, how does it look? Mm -hmm. So you cannot still be driving that same 1998 car from 1998 and bringing it into 2022. The same thought process. Please don't do that. You guys know the truth. You guys know in the back of the head, you know the truth, but you guys are just to be accepted in the society. You guys are still continuing that same false, fake, pathetic thought process into this moment. Don't do that. Would you like to say anything? Yeah. We are the generation that we do not want to depend to anybody mm -hmm. else. Why should I listen to you and why should I go your route? Mm -hmm. I know how to live myself. That's the generation right now. Mm -hmm. But even though we have enough scientific proofs uh, and then enough experiences, maybe my experience is not conceivable to someone else, mm -hmm. but still, um, I would urge everybody to try to meditate mm -hmm. you know, and uh, see the difference. Mm -hmm. try, to, try to break that comfort zone. I mm -hmm. came from a similar type of situation. Mm -hmm. 
I used to be a believer. Uh, I took that as my stepping stone. But now, you know, once you become seeker, mm. uh, it's totally different. When you mm. want to seek, then you want to know everything by yourself. Mm. You know, you don't want to go by somebody else's thoughts. So religions are entanglements. So they try to cover you up mm. in things. But if you want to come out of that comfort zone, and try to you know make a religion as a stepping stone mm -hmm. definitely go big into it mm -hmm. uh, try to meditate uh, create yourself do not live your life for others mm -hmm. that's the ultimate thing yeah and again if if those pathetic believers they have a problem with anything we say i invite you guys to come join us to have a conversation right we can share our opinions Right, and then also, do not leave for impressions. Mm -hmm. Everything is impression. Mm -hmm. If you see somebody posting something in the Facebook, uh, TikTok, or anything mm -hmm. like that, you want to do that too. Mm -hmm. Because you are driven by your emotions, mm -hmm. hormonal changes, mm -hmm. everything. Everything happens from here. Um, and so, also, do the right thing. Just to look good, just to be accepted in the society, don't do the wrong thing knowing that's wrong. Do the right thing, you know what the right thing is, don't do the wrong thing to be accepted within the society. That's what I call a true believer. Yeah, yeah. believing is not bad. Mm -hmm. The only difference between believer and the seeker is believing means you are putting full stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I just don't want to struggle myself. My ancestors have paved the way. Mm -hmm. I just want to walk there. Mm -hmm. um, but as a seeker, my ancestors have said this, but I want to experience it myself. Mm -hmm. Is this true mm -hmm. or is it possible? Mm -hmm. And it, it does, it is possible. But I went through intense yoga meditation. It could be different for anybody. The nature reveals the fact based on how much you can conceive. Mm -hmm. So whatever you conceive, whatever nature reveals you, it's based on your fully aligned conceivable body. Mm -hmm. Whatever nature reveals to me, it's still based on my conceivable zone. Every realization person have a same mm -hmm. understanding of the nature. It's just the different routes some of them prefer to pick. Alright. Alright guys, just meditate. Don't listen to other people. Meditate, yeah, meditate in yourself. Yeah. Find out what's inside. Everything happens inside you. And again, if any of the religious believers who are watching this video have any problem with this, join us with the conversation. I'll make some good tea. I'm a great cook. You can sip some tea, have some conversation. I'll send you home making you humble.